Hey y'all, as normal, the lighting is terrible, but I'm happy to see y'all. I am sitting at my local Sonic. I got me uh, unsweet tea, add raspberry, and I'm getting a patty melt with no bread, extra mayonnaise. So that's my lunch. It's call day, so um, I've been into work already. I'm running to Dollar Tree, but who knows? I'll probably get called back in. Um, been missing y'all terribly. I just have not been able to get a vlog out. I will start recording and I'll forget. Um, our department at work is under construction and so we don't have anywhere to eat. We're eating in the cafeteria and it's loud and annoying and so maybe I'm gonna have to just film it before I actually get to work instead of at work. Maybe. Anyways, I will see y'all a little bit later. Real life, y'all. Sonic messed it up and sent it out on bread. I didn't feel like sending it back or nothing crazy. I just scraped everything off, added some extra mayonnaise, and then there's some grilled onions and some mustard and some cheese, and this is probably as dirty keto or lazy keto or whatever you want to call it as it can get, but it's going to be delicious. Okay, y'all. So, I decided I needed to head home. I went to Dollar Tree. Yes. I went to Dollar Tree and then I went to Walmart because I needed ink for my printer. Um, I need to print some coupons so I can go shopping for my Thanksgiving stuff. Um, and let's, let's talk Thanksgiving. <laughs> so in our house, we do two different Thanksgivings. We do one with Stephen's grandmother and family and one with my family. Um, we have keto recipes picked out for both of them these are simple easy things we're gonna make we are gonna simply make some um some deviled eggs i mean how much more basic and cheap can that be <laughs> so um deviled eggs for both houses i'm gonna make some pumpkin bars instead of pumpkin pie I'm going to make Steven a peanut butter pie because that's what he wants. Um, we're making broccoli cheese rice with no rice. Well, with cauliflower rice. And we're making a turkey. So, that's it. But let me tell you, I had the most humbling experience at Walmart. I was trying to look around and be intentional and thinking maybe I could figure it out without having my list. And I finally decided, girl, take your butt to the house, get your list, shop your house first. People, you do not need to go buy more pumpkin or whatever you think you need for these recipes. Shop your house first. See what you have. Use your shelf cooking. So I'm not even following my own example. So I was like, go home. Go home. Check your shelves, check your recipes, make a good list, and let's be intentional. So y'all know around Budget Keto, well, maybe you're new around here. Um, we budget $100 per week on food. That's it. Only $400 a month. Even if there's five weeks in the month, it's still $400 a month, okay? And so... With all the looming holidays upon us and stuff, we have spent probably two weeks, two or three weeks eating out of our pantry and out of our freezer and not buying anything except for like green vegetables and dairy products, okay? So we've saved up some money and I have... I have put some of it towards debt, I have put some of it towards the Christmas budget, and I have put some of that money towards this Thanksgiving haul that I need to do. So, I think I have a hundred, it was 160 that we had planned, um, Stephen already went and got Cokes because they were on sale, so I think I'm down to about 130. So. That's it. 
There's no more. Even if I need some expensive ingredients like some erythritol or something like that, some almond flour, it doesn't matter. It has to come out of that budget. If it cannot be bought on that budget, we are not doing it. And to me, 130 is even more expensive. When I left Walmart, I was so... I was so humbled. Like, I want to say that we're on a budget and we are frugal and we try to only get what we need. And there was an older man um, walking towards the bus stop with his groceries. And he had brought um, reusable totes so he could have one for each hand. And I had seen the man walking around the store, picking up things, looking for the best prices, um, looking for aluminum pans, those kinds of things. And um, I realized while I was looking at him and watching him um, as he was walking towards the bus stop that I need to be thankful for what I have. He had to shop and do a whole turkey Thanksgiving dinner on whatever he had and what he could carry in two tote bags and ride the bus back home. And it just gave me such a humbling feeling as I drive my car that I put gas on in and I sometimes buy name brand stuff and things like that, that I was like, this man went to the store and bought a Thanksgiving dinner to take home to his family and cook for his family or whoever it may be and rode the bus and did everything just so they could sit down and enjoy. So what I'm taking away from it is it's not the fancy recipes, y'all. You could do Thanksgiving on a shoestring budget. Shop the sales. There are um, turkeys are on sale all the time. I think they're 37 cents a pound. Go get you a cheap turkey. Get you some, um, some cauliflower. It's cheap to 97 cents at most stores, Walmart included. You can make you some cauliflower mash. Go get you some green beans, some green beans, add some baking grease to it. Try to make them a little bit fancy. So you got cauliflower mash, you got green beans. Make you a dessert. I'm telling you, you can do a keto dinner for less than 40 bucks. And I probably should have done it on this channel just to show y'all that it could be done. But I'm definitely, I know it can be done. So y'all let other people know in the comments down below. What kind of budget-friendly Thanksgiving meals y'all are going to go on? And have y'all seen any humbling things that have made you have many Thanksgiving in this season? Well, the kiddos and the husband are gone, so I am sitting here relaxing, shopping through Ibotta deals, making out my Thanksgiving grocery list. And I'm feeling hungry. It's about 4 o'clock. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and have this Quest Peppermint Bark. Because it sounds delicious. And it tastes like a Girl Scout cookie. Hey y'all. It's dinner time. I'm going to start making um, like a fried cheese. And I'm going to have some sausage balls with it. I just put some shredded cheese into a pan. I'm just going to melt it down until it's delicious. some salt so I'm gonna put some salt on it and just fry it up okay y'all this is dinner I have some pizza sauce fried cheese and some sausage balls okay y'all it's about time to wrap this all up I think I'm done for the evening eating I need to drink my magnesium probably I should do that.
but I got some happy mail today. I'm so excited. It's almost like somebody knew that I was kind of in a funk. Mm. Mm. <laughs> so, anyways, this happy meal came from Chrissy over at OK Keto. She is such an awesome person, and like I said, I think she knew that your girl's been in a mood. Let's see. Oh. Christy, y'all look how cute this is. It's a little keychain strap. Look, it's got some flowers on it. And it's almost like she was talking to Steven. <laughs> because this is a chapstick holder. That is so freaking awesome. And it says holiday cocoa chapstick, which who doesn't want holiday chocolate? chapstick right now I mean you know but anyways last week when I was feeling really sickly we had gone somewhere and I didn't have my chapstick and I kept begging him for chapstick I was like can I please have yours and he told me if I had his that he'd have to throw it away and so anyways I'm excited to be able to put my chapstick on my keychain chain or a bag how cute is that? I've never even seen that anywhere. You're awesome. Thank you. You're so good. Oh, There's more cuteness, y'all. Y'all don't be jelly. But, I'm going to have to hide these. From Dane. Yeah, that boy likes some socks. Some crazy socks. I haven't seen them yet, but I know they're socks. Oh! <laughs> Y'all, they're full of llamas! Look! Oh my God, they're so adorable. Look at his happy Christmas face. Oh! You just can't be in a bad mood when somebody sends you cute Christmas socks. <laughs> can't wait to wear these. And they're actually thick and soft filling. Girl, you did too much. I just, I needed to pick me up, I think. She knew. She knew. But I'm going to be rocking my fall llama socks. <laughs> so anyways, that's it for the night. Like I said, um, I'm done eating and drinking tonight. I have all kinds of binge-worthy thoughts going through my head tonight because I'm all by myself. And I don't want to say the word bored, but I'm all by myself. And so there's nobody here to watch what I'm doing. <laughs> so I've like thought about going and getting a bottle of wine and some keto ice cream. That wine's not keto though. So we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. We're going to put on our holiday cocoa chapstick. I'm trying to get it open. Oh, it's green. I would have thought it would have been brown. It's green. Oh, my gosh, y'all. That is... Oh, that's heavenly. <laughs> that is so good smelling. That's awesome. Anyways, so I'm going to go finish watching the LSU game and hopefully no binge-worthy things happen. They shouldn't know. Like I said, I'm tired and your girl's ready for bed. Anyways, I'll see y'all tomorrow.